guys, welcome back to 9mm Ridge. That was the Glock 43X versus the SIG P365X Macro. Woo, these guns, there was a lot of fun, you know? Shooting is just a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, well, which one should you buy? That's up to you. These are both coming in very similar in length of grip. They're almost identical as far as the grip goes. Almost identical, except this one holds 17 plus one out of the box. This one is 10 plus one out of the box. Now you may have noticed, how can that hold 10 plus one when he's shooting clearly more than 10 plus one? Well, this one I actually switched out to the Shield Arms magazines. Um, these are kind of hit or miss. I have three of them that work just flawlessly. Bought a fourth one, that one doesn't work at all. Um, it locks the gun up, which is not, not good for concealed carry. So if you're gonna buy the Glock, I would recommend staying with the factory boring, but they are, they are always going to work. The factory boring 10 plus one magazine there. Now, the SIG mag, it's pretty crazy actually. This is a 10 plus one. This is a 17 plus one. See the difference? Woo! Not much difference there. Just a little tiny bit taller, but not by much. So that's really neat. SIG was able to do some magic and, and put a lot more a uh, lot more firepower in there, which is, that's really, really cool for a concealed carry handgun. Now, grips, this one does have some stipling on it, uh, all in the right places. Goes really nice against your palm, but has a smooth section right here for your finger. And then also has an interchangeable back strap. So you can change this one out. This one is a medium that came with it. It feels perfect in my hand, so I have not changed it out. This one does not have much texturing on it, so it does get a little bit slippery while you're shooting it. Uh, you can, can fix that with some grip tape. Also, with that ported slide, that really reduces felt recoil and muzzle flip. So when you're shooting it, it just feels so much softer than shooting the Glock. The Glock is gonna have far more recoil, but still shoots really good. And you, if you get used to it, you really don't feel it that much unless you're shooting, shooting these side by side. Um, what else? So this one does have night sights that come with it. So that's really cool. Um, you have three dot night sights. Also the cutout on top for a red dot. This one does not come with the night sights. That would be an upgrade. They're, you're probably around 120, 150 nowadays maybe. Um, but it does have the RMR cutout. I have the Holosun 507K with a plate to attach it. So yeah, both are very, very good. Oh, also I failed to mention this does have the 1913 Picatinny rail so you can mount a flashlight on there of any size, which is really cool. It's kind of up to you what you like, what you think you might like, or what your needs are. But these are both very good firearms and I would recommend either one. And guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Stay safe. Keep on shooting. Have a great day.